comes from the altar. A good altar will give you whatever you want. There is no power from the altar minus a sacrifice. An altar without a sacrifice is a dead altar. The, the altar cannot do anything without a sacrifice unless it becomes rogue. Madabao ikigeuka concubines ama mpango wa kando huwa wanaendanga madhibauni kabla wajachukua mabwana zenu wanako haendi kutafuta bwanako anaenda kwa madhibau yake anatuma roho kwa bwanako bwanako anamfuata kama mbwa mwenyewe tu baby baby na sura yenyewe ni tumbiri wa kitambo the concubines before they take your husbands they go to the altar they don't go to look for your husbands but your husbands will keep on following them baby baby and the face of that concubine is very bad like a monkey monkey okay. now go to your altar always for your family always basi nenda madhabauni kila siku kwa ajili ya familia yako kila siku the last one ya mwisho altars are not equal in power madhabau hayatoshani kwa nguvu sina kusaidia have pastor helped you there really Unajua mimi nawasaidia na nikishawasaidia mimi naenda sana. You know pastor helps us and after helping us he goes his way. Nilikuwa naongea na rafiki yangu mwingine asubuhi. He was talking with one of his friends in the morning. Akauliza mwenzake, why do you teach? And he asked him he said, fellow, kwa nini unafundisha? Akasema I teach to give back the knowledge that I acquire akamwambia ninafundisha ili kurejesha ile maarifa niliyopata then i ask the person when you teach you feel happy alafu mtumishi akauliza huyo mtu na ukifundisha unasikia furaha he told me yes pastor akamwambia ndio mchungaji then i ask him do you know what makes me happy alafu akamuliza je wajua ni kinachonifanya mimi nifurahi helping the needy kuwasaidia maskini ministering to you kukuhudumia wewe helping another needy person kusaidia ule mtu mwingine maskini healing the sick kuponya wagonjwa when i give out ninapopeana i feel very happy chungaji anasikia furaha sana hii ndoa yako ikipona nitakuwa na raha kama yote when this your marriage is healed that is how pastor will become so happy than, than ever look for a good altar because god is not after your money whether you give god money or you don't give god is permanently rich Nashukuru Mungu nimekufundisha kama mwanangu. I thank God I've taught you like my child. Allow me to go to Europe now. Ruhusu mtumishi aende Europa sasa. Let me talk to you. Wacha mtumishi amuongeleshe huyu wa kutoka Europa. Bwana Mungu asifiwe. Ni kwa na testimony na question please. To answer the testimony then question. Yes testimony and a question. Testimony I came alikuja mwaka uliopita majaoni na tukakuja hapa majaoni and also nitachukua watoto nikasema nimechukulia watoto wangu na dada yangu she took sasa she mtoto wangu is pregnant now six months yesterday hakuwa nazar alikuwa nazar lakini 10 years but sasa iko different ya six years ulichukua watoto ukapeleka eh nikasema nichukue na msichana wako sahi eh, expectant she yeah, came took six, children six took to them and now the the daughter is expectant with the six months expecting question, to give birth question now ni nyingi lakini nitauliza moja swali moja one question huyo huyo nimechukulia mtoto the same same person that in, After she, she took a child to university she said ya pastor sara Immediately she finished university 204. Alipomaliza tu kule married to a man who four children and four wife. After finishing university she did what? Akaenda hali aliandikwa which I took her that is in UK. Akaorewa na mwanamke mwanaume ako na four wife and four children. The daughter after finishing her education she went and she was married to a man with four wives. 
ngambo kuna mwanaume aliye na wanawake wainne na wanaume wa, wa, watoto wainne in abroad you mean there is somebody with four wives hapa, with four oh, children hapa hapa pale here yeah, there there yeah. there i tried that you number the power thank god now i know nikajaribu nikajaribu nothing happened okay. she tried because she never knew the altar she tried but hakuna kitu ilifanyika you are trying the altar kwa hivyo ulikuwa unajaribu madhabahu when i knew you are teaching alianza kujaribu baada ya kusikia mafundisho ya mtumishi when you talk unapoongea to the altar ukiongelesha madhabahu what do you want unataka ni what is your language lugha yako ni ipi i know this one is easy this one najua hii ni rahisi sana hii for example kwa mfano what do i want ninataka nini i want uh, national evangelism ninataka uinjilisti wa kimataifa i don't want to preach in kenya mtumishi hataki kuhubiri kenya hapa the truth ukweli this thing is very expensive ili hii kitu ni ya bei gani mno ni ya gharama ya juu mno not in terms of money sio katika masuala ya kifedha lakini the spiritual maswala ya kiroho cost gharama ya kiroho the value of eta, eternal blessings thamani ya baraka za milele is equal zina toshana ya menisimu is equal zina toshana to the value of the sacrifice na thamani ya dhabihu ama sadaka tell this to abraham mwambie abraham hilo mami kuna vitu vingine mama there is some things ambazo mimi naongea na mtu aliyekoma sawa pastor is talking to a mature person is it okay today jesus was talking about marriage na Yesu alikuwa anaongea kuhusu ndoa and he said if you divorce your wife or your husband na akasema ukiachana na mume wa mke ukindoa for no other reason other than unfaithfulness bila sababu zozote isipokuwa tu kutokuwa mwaminifu you are fornicating against her or him unazini kinyume chake wa kika wa kiume then the disciple said if that is what marriage is kisha wanafunzi wakasema kama hiyo ndio ndoa we better stay without marriage heri tukae bila ndoa and jesus said na yesu akasema this is applied to those whom it is meant for hii ni ya wale ambao ilitengenezewa now i'm talking to a mature person sasa mjungaji anaongelesha mtu aliyekomaa kiroho they are things spiritual kuna mambo fulani kiroho that when you want them ya kwamba unapoyahitaji and there is a, a spiritual level of life na kuna kiwango fulani ya kiroho ya maisha that when you reach ya kwamba unapofika god will never handle your matters the way he handle other people's matters mungu hata shughulikia maswala yako jiza na vishughulikia maswala ya watu wengine imagine hii kenya hakuna mtu ambaye angepitia hii 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 muziki ninacheza unaona hiyo muziki ninacheza hiyo was yet this country nobody have gone through the music that pastor is dancing wengine wangeacha huduma kitambo na endelea others left the ministry long time ago na pastor mwingine alishikwa wakati huo nimetoka jela yeye akashikwa alipotoka jela yeye amekaa sijui wiki tatu 
alipotoka jela akaniambia pastor so pale bibi na bwana wanaendelea katika maisha yao kupigana nataka uelewe kwamba hiyo ndoa hairuhusu mfululizo wa Mungu ama ile influence ya Mungu ije express katika ndoa ile manake pale madhabau ni hafifu na wakati mwingine pale wanapoendelea na maisha yao watakaa chini wajiulize kama hii ilikuwa wili ya Mungu ama vipi na nataka muelewe kwamba kama ilikuwa mpango wa Mungu hama haikuwa mpango wa Mungu hiyo ndoa haita work haitaenda mbali ndoa ile haitafanya kazi mpaka wale wawili wafike kiwango cha kupokea true transformation ama kubadilika na the key thing kile cha muhimu sana wawili hawa pia warudi kwa neno la Mungu wajiulize neno la Mungu lasemaje kuhusu maisha yao manake neno la Mungu lasema waume kama wewe si mwanandoa ama kama wewe uko ndani ya naongelea sasa husbands waume ama mlio oa ambao ni waume neno lasema kwamba muwapende wake zenu sikilizeni muone kwa nini madhabau mnapata wanaume ndio hao washatoroka wameenda kutafuta mipango ya kando wanawake ndio hao wameenda kukua makonkubans nataka ukae hapa uelewe ni kwa nini ndoa hizi ziko na ups and down wapendeni wake zenu na si vile nyinyi mwataka manake yeye Mungu mwenyewe anajua vile madhabau yenu yako vile mnataka kuwapenda wake zenu lakini Mungu mwenyewe amesema wanaume wapendeni wake zenu kama jinsi Kristo apendavyo kanisa hiyo iingie jamani kwa moyo manake ni wanaume wachache sana hata hakuna ni wanaume zero ambao wanaweza penda wake zao jinsi vile Kristo anavyopenda kanisa ndio maana Mungu akasema wapendeni wake zenu jinsi vile Kristo apendavyo kanisa sijui kama mnaelewa vile Mungu alisema hivyo manake alijua nyinyi mko na upendo mwingine ule tu ile a ile ajuju ushapendwa leo mshakasirikiana kesho kutwa mshapigana kesho kutwa hiyo ingine madhabau hiyo mshavurugana watoto huko wa mama kule eh wewe huku na ukishabaki waleta mwingine eh hivyo hivyo wa huwa huyu tena kesho kutwa umeona huyu mama mama hapa nyuma mwenye tume watch ametoa ushuhuda kutokana na mtoto wake mwenye sahihi kwa na mimbe amezi ngapi miezi sita lakini yeye ni bibi wa ngapi watano UK huko. Ndio maana Mungu anasema wanaume wapendeni wake zenu jinsi vile Kristo anavyopenda kanisa. Huyu mwanaume ameoa wana, wana wake wanne. Kweli Kristo anapenda wa kanisa hivyo? So kwa hivyo pale tunaona kwamba Mungu ana separate feelings. Feelings. Upendo wao feelings na upendo ule wa halali, ule Mungu mwenyewe anataka. Si ule wewe mwanaume unataka ndipo sonono huyu mwanaume alioa mabibi karibu watano simply because ya feelings. So Mungu anataka uondoe ile feelings na upende yule mwanamke kulingana vile Kristo yuasema. Na kama we ni mwanaume uko hapa na unasikiza haya, you should be even crying. Yaani uko magotini ukiambia Mungu nipatie hiyo roho ya Kristo ili niweze kumpenda mke wangu. Nataka uelewe kwamba haijapewa kwa mwanaume hiyo neema haijapewa kwa mwanaume kumpenda mke wake jinsi Kristo alivyopenda kanisa lake it is not given nataka uelewe kwamba kuna mambo mengi sana hiyo statement peke yake itaondoa itaondoa mambo mengi sana katika ndoa yako ya kwanza upendo wa ukweli hawezi kuwa zawadi hauwezi patia mtu yeyote zawadi ya upendo you can't reward anyone na upendo wa ukweli. Pata kuelewa kwamba wakati ule Yesu alipokuja hapa duniani kuwakomboa ama kuwapatia salvation watoto wake, hawa saints hawakupewa zawadi ya ukombozi. I want you to understand this. Ndio maana tunaambiwa physical types spiritual. Sasa tuone kwanza hii mambo ya Yesu hii mambo ya ukombozi kama ni zawadi lipeanwa ama kulienda kulienda vipi. So unaona jinsi ilivyo kali? How difficult it is? Unaiona vile? So kwa hivyo jinsi tu vile huyu mwanamke anatengeneza nywele yake, jinsi anavyojipamba, jinsi anavyojipodoa, aihusu ule upendo. 
ni wewe mwanaume uende magotini ulize Mungu baba Mungu nifanye vipi upendo wangu ni upeleke vipi eh usione mapambo pale mapambo 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 na wewe huyo unaleta zile ma feelings za upendo a ah, a ah, hiyo ni upendo wa ma feelings ule si ule upendo wa Kristo jinsi alivyopenda kanisa. So kwa hiyo verse ni ya kukufanya we mwanaume urudi pale kwa magoti, urudi pale kwa Biblia, urudi pale kwa maombi yako, umuulize Mungu, "E eh, baba, nifanye vipi sasa?" Manake hizi feelings zinaweza kukunini kuku blinded. Eh, zinaweza kukudanganya unampenda lakini ilhali hakuna upendo pale. Bado mtazozana, hata ajipodoe vipi, hata avai vipi, bado mtazozana. So elewa kwamba madhabau yako ya marriage inateseka kwa sababu wewe mwenye kuchukua ile hatua ya kwamba ukuelewa ile statement na pia wewe huku rudi pale kumwambia Mungu ama kumuuliza Mungu Mungu what do you mean na his statement eh wewe uliona tu mwanamke amejirembesha na wewe huyo ukatokomea eti upendo ndio maana madhabahu yako ya marriage iko vile ilivyo unasema jinsi vile Kristo anavyopenda kanisa nataka muende msome katika Biblia ile halotri na rebellion la kanisa vile kulienda hata hivyo nimekupenda na upendo wa milele wewe ni Kristo na pale bado kanisa pale liko rebellious liko against lakini pande hiyo mwingine Kristo yasema hata hivyo nimekupenda na upendo wa milele mwanaume mgani anaweza simama na aseme hivyo despite the wife doing whatever they normally do eh simame ni mseme hapa kwa comment section Leo tunaongea leo tuna tunaongeleshana tuelimishane tujue nimewapenda na nikawavuta na upendo wangu wa kindness ni wangapi na Kristo pale anaendelea kusema nimependa na siaibiki hilo na mimi ni Mungu wenu na siogopi kusema vile despite the kind of life you are living nimewapenda jinsi mlivyo wa mbingu ziseme jinsi li, 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 mbingu zitakavyosema i don't care bora siku moja nitawakujia na upendo wangu haya kizungumkuti kiko hapa biblia nayo inasema sasa wewe mume mpende hivyo umeona vile jinsi kristo alivyopenda kanisa lake nawe mume mpende bibi hivyo eh madhabahu yako yawe kama ya kristo madhabahu yako yawe resemble ya resemble yale ya kristo vile mungu alivyopenda mwanawe na wewe pia umpende bibi yako so kabla ya kumpenda jinsi ile lazima uweze kunasa akili za yule mtu aliyesema maneno haya na pale chini biblia inasema watch the mind of christ be in you eh as it is in christ let his mind be in you na hapo mm, ndio maana unaona hapa injini kenya madhabahu ya marriage imekuwa na shida tabu eh sana. Eh unaoa huyu kesho anaondoka. Unaoa kesho wewe unaondoka, eh? Yaani uko suspended. Hauna madhabahu thabiti. Ni jinsi gani nitaepa haya, eh? Ni kwa sababu ya nini? Ni kwa sababu wewe kama mume, wewe kama mke, ukuchukua ile hatua ya kwenda kuuliza Mungu mapenzi yako, eh? How I, how did you love the church? How did you do it, dear Lord? I wish I have that spirit. I really want to do exactly the way you did it. That's why most of you mnyi mshakutana sijui ba mshakutana kwa barabara eh kwa mtandao eh mwingine amesema pressure social media jamani imekuwa too much eh wewe umeona mwenzako uko na msana mrembo mrembo na wewe huyo washikwa na ile pia pressure watafuta uko na wewe unaokota na wewe kuja unatuwekea kwa mtandao umeoa little don't you know that ulienda kwa madhabahu ya social media ukatafuta msichana kule ujui huyo msichana amelelewa vipi haujamjua na ndio hivyo hata engagement mnafanyia kwa mtandao ndio hivyo na tumeoana wewe fair ndio hiyo kuja tuishi what do you mean niambie kwa nini usipate tabu katika ndoa yako ni kwa sababu ya yale madhabahu uliweka katika ndoa yako so Mungu anasema hapa jinsi vile Kristo alimpenda jinsi vile Kristo alipenda mke wake ambao ni kanisa hivyo hivyo ndio wewe mwanaume wapaswa kumpenda mkeo na pia heshima na wewe mwanamke umpende upendwe ukishamaliza kupendwa heshima na wewe uwe uweke eh ndio maana madhabahu hapa ya marriage iko tu na kiwingu eh 
ndio maana mchungaji tu yeye star yake ni kupinga hizi mamipango za kando hmm? waganga madhabo za waganga zimejaa wewe kama ndoo yako haiendi vizuri waenda zako kwa waganga waenda kuambia mimi nimalizie huyu mtu sitaki kumuona na uniletee mwingine hmm? msiana naye cockumbine njia yake anachukua sadaka yake taidhi yake kwa mganga anapeleka anamwambia nataka fulani fulani nilete yeye madhabao hafifu kwa sababu ya nini atufanye jinsi Kristo alivyofanya ndio maana mnaona tuko up down up down na tena unaenda huko huko kwa mganga na wewe mganga atakuletea na hamtaka eh pesa shakula ameharibu ndoa yako amekuharibu pia wewe kijijini wezi enda yani ni tabu tu so tupende wake zetu jinsi let's follow the bible let's follow the word of god watch sales about marriage let's love our wives like the way jesus christ loved the church na hiyo itakuwa so simple eh marriage zetu zitafufuka mambo ya waganga itaisha watoto wetu watasonga mbele maisha yetu yatakuwa na amani tuache kupumba macho na watu na tumuelekee Yesu Kristo na tuzingatie tuz maneno yake na ndoa zetu zisimame katika neno la Mungu. Kweli akonana mama radi hapa